Are our cities accelerating evolution? Concrete, noise, light pollution, overflowing garbage. Our cities are some of the harshest habitats on Earth. And yet, animals aren't just surviving here. They are evolving. And it's happening not over millennia, but over decades. Take New York's white food and mice, for example. Out in the woods, they eat seeds and berries. But in Central Park, they are genetically evolving, so they can digest fast food scraps left by humans. So what we've learned so far is that one set of genes that are changing in the city have to do with metabolism. And we know it's evolution because a heritable change in DNA sequences is evolution. City parks are like islands in a concrete ocean. Mice, birds, and insects adapt in isolation. If it's a species like a mouse that can't leave the forest, cross you know, neighborhoods and buildings and, and roads and make it to the other patch, it is essentially the same biologically as if they were on an island. And these urban patches, once they become sufficiently isolated, operate like a mini Galapagos and maybe driving the evolution of many species that are you know, stuck there now. Darwin thought evolution was too slow to watch, but today it's taking place in front of our eyes and it's happening right where we live.